We're going to discuss briefly today the lipoprotein pathway in this video. So it's important to understand that for the body to transport cholesterol and triglycerides around the body, it can't be done only in the blood. So cholesterol and triglycerides can't just travel freely in the blood because they're insoluble. So we have to pack them within certain proteins in order for them to be transported. These proteins are called lipoproteins and they have quite an interesting structure. They're responsible for transporting cholesterol and triglycerides in the body, but the nature of them can get a little bit complicated because there's different sizes and compositions of them. They're arranged so that the core of the lipoprotein contains the cholesterol esters and the triglycerides, and they're surrounded by free cholesterol, phospholipids, and apolipoproteins. We can classify lipoproteins into seven different forms, and that's based on their size, composition, and which apolipoproteins are present. We have chylomicrons, chylomicron remnants, very low density lipoproteins, intermediate density lipoproteins, low density lipoproteins, high density lipoproteins, and lipoprotein A. The thing about these six here is that they're considered to be proatherogenic, meaning they contribute towards fatty deposits in the arteries, and that can result in atherosclerosis. HDL, on the other hand, is anti-atherogenic, so elevated levels of HDL tends to reduce the risk of atherosclerosis. So when we're looking at how the lipoprotein pathway occurs, it starts with dietary fats being incorporated into chylomicrons in the intestines. And this is known as the exogenous lipoprotein pathway. And that's because the source of the fat is coming from outside the body. It's coming from the food that we eat. So the triglycerides, which is what they're broken down into, are carried into the chylomicrons to the muscle and adipose tissue. And there, they are metabolized via the enzyme lipoprotein lipase to release free fatty acids, which are free to be metabolized by the muscle and adipose tissue. We then have chylomicron remnants, which are formed. The chylomicron remnants are taken up by the liver. Here we start the endogenous lipoprotein pathway. We have the formation of very low density lipoprotein by the liver. It travels to the muscle and adipose tissue to release free fatty acids. And then we have the formation of intermediate density lipoprotein. Intermediate density lipoprotein circulates the body and it's taken up by the liver where it's converted into low density lipoprotein via the enzyme hepatic lipase. Low density lipoprotein has a very high cholesterol content. Low density lipoprotein has the function to circulate around the body and deposit cholesterol in target cells.